let us consider a disk we know that the disk is a two dimensional body let this disk is having some radius being a uniform body its center of mass is at the center itself o let the radius of this disk is equal to r some value r now from this disk if we remove a portion of the mass how does the center of mass shifts we want to calculate let the removed disk a portion of the mass that is going to be removed is having a diameter r that means having a radius r by 2 so if we have to show it in the diagram it is like this if this portion of the disk what we have shown with the different color is removed from the existing disk if this is shadowed portion is removed from the existing disk so it is obvious that now the center of mass is no more at the point o because the left side of the right side of the diagram becomes right side of the disk uh, disk becomes light and the left side becomes heavy therefore let the center of mass shifts let it is shifting from o to a new position o dash we would like to know how much it shifts what is the value of o o dash we have just now discussed that in a previous post we have discussed that shift of center of mass when a portion of the mass is removed is we have derived a formula in the previous post please refer to that shift of the center of mass is we can write mass removed by mass remaining mass removed by mass remaining multiplied by the distance between original center of mass and the center of mass of the removed portion that is the formula for the shift of the center of mass now i want to write what is mass removed is can we say being a two dimensional body disk we know that the density equal to mass by volume that implies mass equal to volume into density volume equal to area into thickness into density assuming being a disk its thickness is constant we can write mass is directly proportional to area when for a given material density and for a given disk thickness are constants so for a one dimensional body mass is directly proportional to length for a two dimensional body mass is directly proportional to area and for a three dimensional body mass is directly proportional to volume therefore mass removed as per that is directly proportional to the area of the removed disk so we can say mass removed is pi radius of the removed disk the removed disk is having a diameter r r radius r by 2 so mass removed is pi r square by 4 mass remaining is total area because the total radius is r total area is pi r square minus mass removed means area of the removed portion pi r square by 4 so 4 pi r square minus pi r square by 4 that is nothing but mass removed is 3 pi r square by 4 and the distance between original center of mass and the removed center of mass we know this is the location of the original center of mass we know this is the location of the removed center of mass distance between these two points is nothing but the radius of the removed disk that is nothing but the half of the total radius so distance is nothing but equal to r by 2 therefore the shift of the center of mass from o to o dash o o dash could be written like 
mass removed we can write pi r square by 4 mass remaining 3 pi r square by 4 by distance between the original center of mass and the removed center of mass is r by 2 so we can cancel this pi r square by 4 and pi r square by 4 so the shift is equal to o, o dash is equal to r divided by 6 that is nothing but the 1 by 6th of the radius of that disk and be careful in understanding one simple point that uh, this is valid when you remove the mass from one corner of the disk suppose you are having a disk like this whose center of mass is at O now if we remove a portion of the radius disk like this if the this is the removed portion uniformly then what is the shift of the center of mass shift of the center of mass is 0 why it is 0 though there is a removal of the mass that is not making any portion of the disk any side of the disk heavy right it is equally removing the mass from all the parts assuming this uh, is a uh, right uh, disk and I have removed also in a proper way then what we can say even after removing uh, about all the sides the mass is remaining same therefore the center of mass remains at the same place the shift of the center of mass will happen only you, when you remove the mass from one edge or from a corner 